Question four. So you need to know what this actually means, right? Inverse function seven going into it. It means when is this equal to seven? So if you know that, you can just write down that part. Okay, and then you can quickly solve it. So 3x minus 7 equals 7x minus 2. Um, and then if you solve it from there, multiply this out. What have we got? 7x minus 14, 3x minus 7. Add 14, take away the 3x, and that's going to give you x equals 7 over 4. When you've done that. You could, if you really wanted to, um, is you could just actually work out what the inverse function is and then put 7 in. There's a lot more work involved in that. But it's much easier to do this if you understand this. All right. Now part B. Part B. What we've got to do here. It means this. We've got a, it's the function of, of but we're going to put in fx inside the function. So we just need to write this down. Um, x minus 2. So what that means is we're going to feed this into each part of x. Now again, the easiest thing to do is just to write it out in full. Don't worry about actually trying to work stuff out. It looks a bit yucky and horrible. So we've got 3 times this, and then we've taken away 7, and then we've got again just the 3x minus 7, because just feeding that into the x part there, x minus 2, and we're going to take away 2. Now, okay, it looks really horrible, this, but let's just kind of think about it section at a time, all right? And then we'll just work it through from there. So if I multiply this one out, but what have I got? I've got 9x take away 21, and then that's over x minus 2. Now I need to get this over x minus 2 as well. So if I multiply this by x minus 2 over x minus 2, so then it becomes uh, about that. And now I'm going to do exactly the same with the denominator. Right? So I've got 3x minus 7 and I need to multiply this by x minus 2 over x minus 2. So it's going to give me this here. And again, it looks dreadful, doesn't it? Okay, but let's just tidy up what we've actually got. So if I tidy up this, uh, the part of the numerator, I'm going to have 9x, I'm going to be taking away 7x. I'd probably stick an extra line in here and actually multiply that out. And that's going to give me 2x minus 7, right? If I gave you that by itself, right, everybody would be able to do it really easy. And then, remember, that's divided by x minus. 2, and then do exactly the same with this line in here. And if you do that, that then gives you x minus 3, and then that's also divided by x minus 2. So again, yeah, it still looks a bit horrible. But again, if you know how to divide fractions, well, you can sort this out here, all right? Because all you've got is you've got 2x minus 7 over x minus 2. Now, when you divide by a fraction, remember, you keep, you change, and you flip. x minus 2 over x minus 3. Okay, I'll just change that around. What's going to happen here? These guys are going to cancel out. So it gives us 2x minus 7 over x minus 3. And let's have a little look at the question and just make sure, yeah, no, okay, I'm pretty confident I've done it right. All right, there we go.